So now, and what does it take to implement such a quality control system in machine vision? So there are um, a number of different parts that you actually would have to pay attention to. So it's not only about software or not only about a camera, which is uh, sometimes uh, a misconception that people have. It's all about the camera, it's all about the software, which uh, it's a lot more to that. So when you, when you talk about machine vision, you have something known as a pre-process automation. It's, it's what is the mechanical and camera automation that's required for actually capturing the image, right? So you need to make sure that you have image da uh, consistent data acquisition. Uh, the next part is obviously the image acquisition itself, because without the, um, let me see if I can use my pen here, without the image acquisition, you, you don't have the data to act upon. And an image acquisition itself has a number of things camera has a number of different parameters that you need to pay attention to. But once you've acquired the image, then you process that image using some kind of a software and that's the image processing that happens. So it's software algorithms that take a digital image and, and, and arrive at some kind of a judgment or a result that you're looking for. Now, with that judgment or a result, you will take some action and that's your post-process material handling. You need to segregate the part, you will pass the coordinates to a robot that may pick it up but there is some action that, that happens. Otherwise, you know, it's not just for data capture. You're, you're trying to automate something. And in order to um, connect all the pieces together, you have a communication module. And that's how do all these different devices communicate because the vision system is another part to the larger intelligent factory with pop into import. So all these elements go about building um, or developing a machine vision uh, system and solution.